Hello, thank you for joining us here today at Total MD. Today we're going to take a look at the Document Center and the kiosk which work in concert to help your Total MD work better. By going to the top right, you'll see a little folder that you can click on. Once this launches, it will give you the opportunity to choose your patient. If you are in the ledger or in the patient screen already, it will pull up that patient for you and populate the information on the screen. As you can see, there are different ways to put information into Document Center. You can use letters that are resident in there. We'll look at those in a moment. You can print documents directly into it from your programs. You can get signed documents. You can have documents that get signed, wet signatures on a signature pad in your office. You can scan documents in. You can actually put in image files such as x-rays. And if you have an ID card scanner, it will allow you to scan in ID cards. The most commonly used piece of this is the patient letters. As you can see, I have several in here. We're going to go in and take a look at them and talk about how they get there. This one I'm going to delete just to show you how easy it is to take one out once you've got it in there. Once you get in and you want to view a document, you can click view and then you can go in and add information and change it within that screen. To add a new document to the system, all you have to do is add a patient letter. If you want to add a PDF, you can click on add from file. It will give you the option to add any of your PDF files as a PDF in the system. From here, you can actually go in and you can delete and add documents. You can come in and open one up. We've got a couple of these already in here. So let's look at this one that's not in there. All you have to do is click on it and edit it gives you the entire document. Now this one does not have any signatures on it. However, if it did, at the bottom you could come in and insert a signature if you wanted to. There, the person can sign it from here, from a, from a keypad or with their finger on a tablet. And that just puts it at the bottom for you. To add a document, you can do it one of a couple of different ways. You can click on new, give it a name, tell it okay, and then you can come in and add information from the right that will populate from the patient's record. So let's go ahead and put in a first name, a last name, and maybe a date of birth. Then we're going to go over to Word and pick up the document that I created just by clicking on it and copying it and then clicking back into the document in Document Center, right clicking and pasting it in there. Now it's there. If you didn't want to pull it up in this format, you wanted to pull it actually into the, the Word format, you could do that. That way it could be edited within the program. From here now, we'll go ahead and save this file. And now that document is part of our system. We can go in, add it, and it puts in Lady Bird's name and her date of birth. And then we've got that document in there as well. The documents that are in Document Center can be pulled into Kiosk. That is why it's important to use them together. Kiosk is a program that allows you to have your patients sign documentation before they come into the office. There are two parts of it. I'm going to show you the management and administration piece first. It looks like this. All of your information can be created within the system. Here, clicking on the wheel. You can come in and edit your custom page by clicking on it. You can add a line, delete a line, move it up, insert a line. You can add yes and no questions. If you add a line here, it'll give you the option to add a subtitle, a text question, a yes or no, a date question. Just put a line in it if you want to. That'll put a space in it when you're looking at it from the patient view. Once you've made your changes, you just click save. You can make this document show up for new patients only or for all of your patients or never at all if you choose not to have it on your website at all. You can use a tablet to do this. So if you're planning on your patients using a tablet, you want to leave the pop-up keyboard. If they will be using a computer, you might want to hide that. From within the forms in 
kiosk, you can make fields required so that they can't get past them when they are filling out the information online. All of the ones I have checked have to be filled out or you can't get past it on the form. Hidden fields, just what it sounds like. If you don't want to see that on there, like you don't want to see nickname or student status, all you have to do is save it, update the web, and it will go away. Your alerts are here. These are the ones that are pulled in out of TotalMD. So any alerts you have in TotalMD are available here. You can come in and remove one if you want to. You can also go back and add that back in from there. So you, it's pretty customizable from here. The documents to sign is where the document center documents come in. You can make these to where only a new patient sees them, where they require a signature, and you can make them where you can use them online or in the office, either one. So I'm going to update my web at this point in time and save it. And then we're going to take a look to see what it looks like on the patient side. The patient side of it is accessed by either giving them a URL or putting a button on your website where they can come directly to it. The code will be something that reflects your practice, not TotalMD. Once they click continue, they will see the screen where they can put in their information. All of the fields that are yellow are required, so you have to fill those out. If they don't get filled out, it'll give you a warning. We'll try that in a little bit and show you what it looks like. And if you come through here and you don't pick up something and you click continue, it will give you a warning and tell you to complete all of the required fields in yellow. So we will go in and change that so that it will let us pass it. You have your choice of one, two, or no insurance plans. Depending on what you pick, the next screen will vary. What am I missing? This is the responsible party. If it is actually the patient, a lot of that, uh, most of that information goes away. If it is someone else, it will leave the information to where you have to fill it out. Typically nowadays, we do not see people that are responsible for one another. Most everybody has their own insurance plan number. From here, you can select the patient. If they are the person responsible, there's their employer. This would be who holds the policy, possibly the father or mother if it's a child. Once you've filled out all of the yellow fields, you simply click continue. Then you get your, your conditions and alerts that we spoke, at, spoke of earlier. The ones that are yellow must be filled out, so they're marked in the system that they are required. The patient can come up and click no to all, and then come back through and click the ones that actually apply to them so that they're not having to click every button coming and going down this, this screen. Once they finish that, they can go clear to the bottom continue and this is where the form comes up that I spoke of creating in the management piece of it. From here you can put in the name, address, phone number. None of this is required so they can get past it if they want to. Probably isn't a good idea but you can set it up that way. These are set up to where they have to have a signature. If you try to get past it without a signature it's going to give you a warning. These are the forms that were created in Document Center that were added to uh, kiosks so that the patient can fill them out. This one again has to have a signature. And then it's going to tell you you have entered all the information, send it to your healthcare provider. Once they click submit, this will take them back to your website. Once that is done, going back to the management piece of it, all you have to do is download your web registrations. It's going to bring up exactly what I put in as a patient in here. If you double click on it, it's going to show you what the patient put in so that you can see what is going on. Once you get to the bottom of it, you can come in and save it to TotalMD. It'll look to make sure that there's not a patient that matches it. If there is not, you can create a new patient. Now this gives you the option to come in and delete things that you don't want to have saved. So the ones that you don't want in there, you can come through here 
and say this phone number looks funky to you, you can take that out. And then when the patient comes in, you can request that they give you a phone number that makes sense. This is the information here. This is where you pick up your uh, insurance plan. This one we're gonna tell it's a new one. Then once you're done, all you have to do is save that patient and they'll show right up in Total MD. That's all there is to Kiosk and Document Center. They work very well together. They're a nice addition to Total MD. If you're interested in obtaining these for your practice, please give us a call. Our number here is 800-613-7597. Option one will get you to sales. Option two will get you to support. And option three will get you to training. Any of us can help you with information regarding this. Thank you so much.